if you have a digital wallet and everything you earn goes into your digital wallet, everything you buy comes out of your digital wallet, they'll know exactly what you're buying and where you're buying it. How do you have a digital currency without taking the currency that we use away? And people should really think about that. Mm -hmm. It's all about central control of everything. The war on cash is real. And it's just another reason to be stacking silver and gold. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. In this video, I again talk with my local coin shop dealer extraordinaire, Tim Marshner of the Coin and Stamp Shop, about what is going on with our currency and the incredible danger with central bank digital currencies or CBDCs. They're coming, friends. And I believe that physical cash will be going the way of the telephone booth soon. I also hear from a Yankee Stacking viewer and Silver Stacker who popped in while I was there at Tim's Coin Shop and he shared his experience with his bank. And I'm going to ask you to do one more thing, something I rarely ask you to do. Would you share this video, after you like it, of course, with someone who really needs to find out about this war on cash that we're dealing with and the value of stacking silver and gold? Please do that. We need to get the word out. Well, let's hear from Tim. I've got John here making a transaction with Tim. So, John, did you get a hard time pulling out money from the bank today? I did. Yes, I uh, went in to pull from uh, my bank account. I was asked how much and I gave the amount and I uh, was then asked, what am I pulling the money out for? What am I doing with it? When I asked them to repeat the question, they uh, told me just it's a, it's a good sum of money, which it wasn't that much. And they wanted to know what I was doing with it, what I was buying, I told them that was not any of their business. Mm -hmm. Very polite about it and told them to have a good day. Tim, do you have similar problems? Uh, making deposits, yeah. 5,000, 6,000, 8,000, not even near 10,000. They're asking to see my license and you know, they all know me, okay? And then the, the last time I deposited 8,000 and a few checks and um, the, the woman said, uh, well, I need to look at your license. So I give her my license and, and um, she says, and what do you do for a living? And I said, uh, I own the coin and stamp shop that's on the deposit slip there. And but she didn't phase her, that she was doing what she was told to do. And it's linked to my account because when they're putting the cash in the, um, in the computer, it, it says you need license and you know, identification and um, right. what this person does for a living. So now I have a niece and nephew who um, have worked in the banking industry and they said that is nothing new. They're they are told in their training mm -hmm. that they are supposed to ask every time someone pulls out. Is there a war on cash? Um, yeah, I think it's in preparation for, you know, what they think is going to be a digital currency. I mean, they literally think that everybody, you know, Social Security, IRS is going to be part of this digital wallet that everybody mm -hmm. gets. And then, you know, if they want to give um, uh, benefits to just people who are here illegally that come across the border, the first thing they'll get is a digital wallet. So they give them benefits and it's, it's catastrophic. And people need to wake up because it's happening more every day. Everybody's talking about replacing the world's reserve currency with a digital currency. Uh, they just don't know how to do it because um, it gives the drowning uh, countries enough flexibility to manipulate you know, their debt, everything else. That's right. And I'm, of course, that's the that's the end result anyway that's what they're looking for but um how do you have a digital currency without taking the currency that we use away and people should really think about that mm -hmm. if they if they take away you know give you a digital wallet mm -hmm. and everything 
you buy comes out of your digital wallet. Everything you earn or you know, everything for things you sell go into your digital wallet. What freedom do you have to do anything? That's the beauty of this stuff right here. I can transact with you yeah. and there's no record, right? There's no tracing of this. It's currency I give to you and I can well, do you, it to my neighbor. I could do it to- You have the ability to spend your money that you work for the way you want to spend your money. If you have a digital wallet and everything you earn goes into your digital wallet, everything you buy comes out of your digital wallet, they'll know exactly what you're buying and where you're buying it. Because there's a great big computer down in Washington, or actually it's out in Utah, waiting for all this information so they can control your life, every aspect of your life. But it's so beneficial to us though. We don't have to worry about this, the evil stuff that may be lurking on top ever, of this linen. You don't ever have to fill out a tax form. Exactly. They'll do it for you. I mean, literally, if you, if it goes out of your digital wallet to a doctor's office, then they'll, oh, there's a deduction, a medical deduction, okay? If it, um, you know, if you buy things at Staples, you know, you'll have to determine which of what you bought is a, a, you know, office deduction, which is something for your personal use. I mean, the, the ramifications are absolutely terrible. And it's all about, central control of everything I, you know digital currency is probably the worst option but that was the whole plan of the g7 meeting it was the, you know, how do we get to a digital currency why because the euro was formed without any consideration for the individual countries to pay down their debt they have no way of paying their debt so they're drowning in debt and the ecb originally said well we can issue bonds well, they tried that. Nobody bought the bonds. And they didn't want to have to buy them themselves, but nobody else will buy the bonds. But that doesn't help the individual countries. All the Mediterranean countries plus Ireland are drowning in debt. It is the, the essence of you know, the, the digital age of socialism. And it's absolute control is what it is. I mean, if you, you have this digital wallet and everything, you know, you sell something at a yard sale, it has to go into your digital wallet. Um, everything goes into that. Then there is, there is a central authority that knows everything about your life. And they know when you buy a donut or a cup of coffee. Tim, this is what millennials especially, but all of us have been ceding to governments, to, to companies, our personal privacy. We give it up so quickly. I see kids saying, oh, they want all this. I want to play this game. I want to download this app. People will give up everything, whether it's, you know, information in TikTok to China, it doesn't matter. And I think we've sort of built this uh, uh, mindset now, in, especially in the West, in, in America, that eh, I don't care if they have my information. They probably have it already. What they care about is getting stimmy. The thought of the Federal Reserve injecting currency directly into that wallet you were talking about, it's a sugar rush. They will, they'll accept it. They don't care about privacy as much as they care about getting what's coming. Yeah, and that's kind of short-sighted because the net result will be they'll be able to decide what you can afford. Okay? And it doesn't matter if it's where you send your kids to college, or, um, you know, what you can buy for a car, they'll decide what you can afford. Central planning on steroids. On steroids. It's going to be a lot like what China is implementing. You see, if people don't understand that it doesn't really matter to Europe, it doesn't matter to China, because every currency in the world has been reset at one time or another, except the dollar. Mm -hmm. The dollar is the only one. Here's the big problem that you know, Americans face. If they, just for the reserve currency, if they come up with a digital currency, just for that, and let everybody keep their their currency, um, what happens to that supply of dollars around the world comes back here? Um, our money supply is absolutely mammoth. But what happens if it all starts coming back? You know, if other countries say, okay, well, you know, 
since we don't really need your dollars, here they are. What happens to our dollars? Massive inflation. Massive. Massive inflation. We're not we're not talking about their them hitting their two percent or maybe three percent because it's on average two. No, we we're talking all the eight, nine, ten, twelve percent. Yeah, they'll be they'll be contracting uh, bonfires. They'll be, okay, let's burn. Take this billion dollars out there in that field and burn it. I mean, what are, what are they going to do? They, they have way too much money in the money supply. So, the gyrations that we're seeing right now, especially in spot prices, that. That can't hold, can it, Tim? For, no. Oh, two, three, five, ten years still, from now? still a paper price. I mean, does that mean uh, that we're losing customers because nobody wants to buy gold anymore? No, it's just the opposite. You know, people are going to look at the spot price and say, wow, you know, how come I'm still paying $2,000 for this one? You know, we're down in the 17, 17, 18 range. Well, that'll all even out eventually. But right now, premiums haven't budged. Uh, the premiums haven't changed, but th that still brings the the final price down. And I suspect if I'm able to get some more and I have some waters that I've got to fill, um, you know, when, I, when I'm able to get more, I, I suspect we'll be selling them for a low price. Mm. What'd you get? Well, this is recent, right? I you have, have lots of sovereign coins and um, the price doesn't change as quickly on the sovereign coins as it does on the bullion. So the bullion's all being repriced. So interesting. And you know what? What's going to happen tomorrow? Who knows? I don't. Th I think this is a buying opportunity. I think this this is a it's dip. Definitely a buying opportunity. Yep. All right. Thanks, Tim. Great words from Tim, and that is why I am stacking more silver. I just uh, got my eighth tube of Canadian maple leaves. You got to get your silver, folks. This is the time to be stacking, not after our currency is destroyed. Well, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.